Jesus concludes by saying that many are called or invited to the kingdom, but only those who have been chosen and have received Christ will come. Those who try to come without the covering of the blood of Christ for their sins are inadequately clothed and will be sent into outer darkness. That is hell, verse 13. Many people hear the call of God coming through his revelation of himself, through creation, the conscience, and the preaching of the word. But only the few will respond because they are the ones who are truly hearing. Jesus said many times, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15, as one example. The point is that everyone has ears, but only a few are listening and responding. Not everyone who hears the gospel receives it, but only the few who have ears to hear. The many hear, but there is no interest or there is outright antagonism towards God. Many are called or invited into the kingdom, but none are able to come on their own. God must draw the hearts of those who come, otherwise they will not. John chapter 6, verse 44. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. God creates life, grants repentance, and gives faith. Man is wholly unable by himself to do these things which are necessary to enter the kingdom of heaven. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 through 6 says, For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Jesus Christ, in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. Salvation is by God's will and pleasure for his glory. John chapter 6, verses 37 through 39 and verses 44 through 45 say, all that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all that he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from Him comes to me. So, all of God's chosen will be saved without exception. They will hear and respond because they have spiritual ears to hear the truth. God's power makes this certain. Romans chapter 8, verses 28 through 30 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. How do we know if we are among the few that have ears to hear? By responding to the call. Assurance of this certain call, this chosen call, is from the Holy Spirit. Consider Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, which says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. If we listen with our spiritual ears and respond to the invitation, there will be fear and trembling in our souls as we recognize that it was God's work in us that caused our salvation.